piano can really say things that I cannot say with words. In piano or in music, that's where I can really lose myself. I'm kind of like a shy person, but when I get to play the piano, I don't really have to speak. And so it's kind of nice to connect with people in like a way without having to speak. I felt the sound of piano is so beautiful and uh, it's fascinating. It's powerful. Welcome to the Eastman Young Artists International Piano Competition. This is the, the 14th uh, Eastman Young Artists International Piano Competition. We started in 1997, and uh, the competitors are all between the ages of 15 and 18. From China, Yang Feng Bai. The first event of the competition is a drawing for the order of performance. Number 10. So we just have a bowl filled with 22 numbers and each student comes up individually and draws a number and then that's the number that's observed throughout the, all of the solo rounds. Number one. I think that to be the first one who's going to play for the competition is a very scary thing. The competitors don't like to draw number one in general. just because it means they have to play first. The judges have nothing to compare that performance to. There will be many people who's going to watch you and have their eyes on you. And I think being that person on stage, and that's a really good chance for me to really show who I am and for me to let the people know that I truly love music. of piano has become so global. This year we have eight countries represented from the competitors. It's a terrific mix of culture and background and geography and, and language and music is always the thing that, that unites everybody. They've been practicing probably since they were four years old, and it's not unusual for very young children, even six, seven years old, to be practicing three and four hours every day. I think that for the school days, I try to do four a day, but then uh, for the summertime, I practice about six to seven hours a day. I'll admit that I don't practice that much, probably uh, three or four hours. I usually don't practice enough, like maybe around, I practice around three to four hours a day. I practice six hours a day. Generally, I practice four or five hours during the Monday to Friday. When I practice, that's when I work. But then when I go on stage, that, that's not for work. You know, just for fun, right? So I think that the part where it really makes me nervous is the part where I walk on stage and I see like all, all the judges like, you know, like in the front seat. But then once I start, I try to think about the piece and I try to not be, you know, too nervous. In terms of judging the competition, you only get a snapshot of this student's life. No matter how well prepared you are, the thing that matters is the performance. So once they get on stage, there's no chance for a, a take two. I love the competition. I love what it does for Rochester. It makes it a cultural city. There's no question that they're kids. And the, the minute the hand strikes the keyboard, there's a transformation. And you, you realize what kind of dedication it takes to be able to achieve that level of mastery at that age. Preparing for the competition, uh, there are lots of different aspects. Um, just the technical, you have to know your pieces inside out. 
upside down. You have to know how the piece is structured and how musically you want it to sound. I'm always looking for new things in the music um, behind the score um, to bring out or to develop. So I'm always looking for that and that sort of just drives me to keep practicing and keep improving and keep looking for the intricacies in my music. Playing the piano is a very interesting thing. You, there are so many mysterious things uh, hide in the music. You should use your brain, use your hand, use your soul and use your ears to discover them. When I perform, I feel so free, so open, and uh, I think this competition can bring me this feel. Music has definitely shaped me as a person. For me, like music is kind of like finding my own way of an expression, like my own way to express myself. It's almost an in, a kind of intangible aspect that you have to feel the music inside you. Every piece has its own different set of emotions, and then you have to feel that 100%. And it will make you cry, it will make you laugh, it will make you dance. And that that kind of expression is, I think one of the most wonderful things about music. We're waiting for the results. It definitely is a nerve-wracking experience as you never know what's going to happen with competitions. Tonight we're going to name five winners who will go to the finals. I was sitting with all the other competitors and the judges were taking a very long time so we were all very nervous and uh, stressed a little bit. From the United States, number 21, Misha Galan. But when my name was called, I was very excited because I knew I would get to play with the orchestra and that's really why I came here. From the United States, Evelyn Mo. When I heard my name called, I was a bit surprised because everyone sounded so good from inside the practice room and I was also happy because now I get to play with an orchestra. From China, number 16, Yao Wen Mai. When they announced his name, he couldn't believe that it was him. He said, I ran as fast as I could to the stage before they changed their mind. <laughs> the opportunity to walk onto a stage like Kodak Hall and play with a first-rate orchestra is something that probably none of them have had the opportunity to do before. Obviously, playing with an orchestra requires different skills, it, so it gives the judges an added dimension in how they determine who the winners should be. The hours before are the worst. Um, like, you're just thinking of everything that could go wrong. But I guess when I'm on stage, after I take a bow and I sit down, that's where all my thoughts go and I just pour my heart into the music and that's where the fun happens. That's why I like performing. I love making music and I love bringing music to um, the public. When I get on stage, I really go and get into the music. I forget about all my surroundings and I really just love making music.
think competitions is not so much of whether you win or not, but it's about the experience and meeting new people. I think the younger students are easily disappointed when they have a setback or when they don't win a prize. And ultimately it's the work that, that provides the satisfaction more than the prize. And if you can think that way, it enhances your likelihood of success. There's only one top prize and so I don't go in a competition thinking, oh, I have to get that prize. I don't really focus on the results, I just focus on the music. If you win a prize on Thursday night, on Friday morning you're still exactly the same pianist. And if you don't win a prize on Thursday night, on Friday morning you're still exactly the same pianist. And the work continues. First prize, the gold medal, is awarded to Brian Love. What I'd like to do in the future with piano is that I really want to become a teacher because you no, know, I think that it's a great joy to pass on what I have learned. I don't really know if I want to be a concert pianist, so I really like computer science and I know that there are schools with joint programs at CS and music, so that's like kind of what I'm looking into right now. I want to see myself going in the direction of a concert pianist where I can travel and perform and share my music with other people. I think that's what I want to do. I can't imagine my life without music, so I think I'm going to continue it and just keep playing and see where that leads me. Competition represents the best of what a city can be. It shows leadership in the arts. It creates a gathering place for arts education, international exchange, and cultural excellence. It's just a, a snapshot of one week in the life of people who work for a very long time, for many, many years, practicing every day to become artists. So the competition is just, it's an event in their lives, uh, but everything surrounding the pursuit of music and the pursuit of music education is really the goal. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.